there is no way that I'm the only one noticing the absolute apocalypse that we got going on with the RTX 50 series, not just the RTX, oh, hold up, I, I definitely mispronounced what I intended to say there, not just the 50 series. We also got issues with the RTX 40 series. Amber, what, what are you doing? Why are you going to move on me? All right, now let's come back here. Scalper bots set, scalper bots, scalper bots. I love the way they, 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 they titled scalper bots. I normally just call them bots, but now from now on, I'm going to call them scalper bots. Scalper bots. Because normal humans that are uh, buying more than 150 90 years, scalper bot. That also is considered a douchebag. <laughs> Scal <laughs> scalper bots said to be responsible for the majority of GeForce RTX 50 series founders edition sales in Europe. As if nobody knew this. Only Europe, though. Only Europe, right? I guess let's just like let's just be real. Definitely not America. It was just all real human beings that bought the 5090 and the 5080 in America. Definitely none of them are on marketplace. Definitely none of them are on eBay. Definitely none of them are just being resold for like literally ten times MSRP. You know, not just like two or three. We're talking ten. Yes, ten. Like literally twenty grand. There's some really stupid people on the planet. Nvidia GeForce RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti are expected for a March 2025 release by Colorful's main supplier. That's really all I need to say about this one. There's not much else that I gotta say. This is actually really nice. What is that? Lab. Lab OC. What company is that? Chain Tech? I like that design. Don't you think that's cool looking? It kind of it looks like an MSI card. If you ask me, like the 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 style of it, it looks like an MSI graphics card. But anyways, dude, like the the uh back to the apocalypse of graphics cards. Like have you noticed this? Like nothing is available. Like none. Zero, zip, nada. Not a single graphics card on the market is freaking available. Dude. Not a 4070, not a 4070 Ti, not a 4070 Ti Super, not a 4080, 4080 Super, 40, nothing. None of them are available, dude. It's just like... So, like, you see these people talking about the, the paper launch from NVIDIA, and it's just whatever. Dude. I don't know. This, I really, this is the first time I've actually been upset for a... Uh, a launch of graphics cards, which is kind of depressing, if you ask me. <laughs> Pretty depressed that a human being is like upset for not being able to obtain a $2,500 graphics card that he would literally not even play games with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to, I mean to be fair, I'm in. I'm interested in it for the for the uh, for the productivity. But hardware info ended up adding support. For the RTX 5070 Ti, but the RTX 5070 remains absent. So, I mean, this is a little confusing because you would think that they would like leak the 5070 before the 5070 Ti. The way, and the the part that pisses me off more than anything is that like it, if it's not obvious, like all the computers I build are white. They're all white, and pre-built gaming PCs are all dog shit. They use dog shit parts. They're, they're, they're trash. There's a reason people hate on pre-built gaming PCs. It's not necessarily the price, dude. It's just they're garbage. They use a garbage motherboard, slow-ass RAM, a turd bucket power supply, and then, like, some, like, nasty, ugly, freaking black, whatever, whatchamacallit, 5090 inside of it. So even if I buy a 5090 pre-built gaming PC just to have a 5090, it's going to be some, like, ugly fucking 5090. It's not going to be like the nice, beautiful Aorus one, which I want to show you guys because it's sick. So, and you know what was really annoying, bro? I had this website open. I had video. So I'm like sitting here at nine o'clock. Like this one, this is the one I had. This is the one I really wanted. So I'm like refreshing. It kept saying coming soon, coming soon. Then I'd go over to the NVIDIA website. There's like nothing freaking popping up. And then, uh, whatever. So I'm sitting here refreshing this dude for like an hour and it, it just con continues to say coming soon. All the other ones were sold out. That's just me luck. That's the type of luck that I have. Every 5090, whether it was Newegg, Micro Center, NVIDIA, all of them. 
All of them, bro. They're all saying sold out. The only one that I actually wanted coming soon for an hour, sitting here refreshing until I gave up. I'm gonna make sure it's okay to share my screen here. All right, yeah, I do. All right, so there's nothing on it. So this right here, this is called Google AI Studio. It's like this AI, you can like share screen with uh, with the AI and like talk to it. And I've been using it for my YouTube analytics. And that comment that I shared with you guys, uh, the one about like me just kind of being myself and how the person thinks I'm gonna do very well just because of like AI becoming so popular, you know? Like I've never like pretended to be somebody that I'm not, but there's, there's different, like, there's like different levels to like pretending to be somebody you're not like, there's that full, full out, like putting on a, a fake face and just lying outright to everybody. But then there's people like myself that ge like genuinely care about the people watching their content and reads all of the comments that are being left on his content. And, uh, you know, my PC channel means my PC channel is becoming my gaming channel to me. Like when I, cause my gaming channel was the very first channel that I started on YouTube and the community aspect to that was an awesome, but like over the years, I've just, I've swapped niches so many different times that it's the channel's kind of dead. Whereas the PC channel is, is like, it, it has so many comments, whether they're positive or negative, there's so many people leaving comments on, on the videos and so the AI was saying something like, you know, there's, there's this like people pleasing stage to it where you're not necessarily trying to be somebody that you're not, but you're not actually being yourself because you're taking feedback from the comments and then you're, you're like trying to, you're trying to do what they want you to do because it's it's always that one negative comment that sticks out out of a hundred and then it like it starts it start it starts making you double think your content and I, this is so i really wish that i i i, I saved this up so unfortunately you can't save it not uh, like it actually does it live with you um but it was it was it was saying something like Cause like, obviously I'm, I'm into entrepreneurship and running the YouTube stuff. It's YouTube is my favorite thing. Um, but it said something along the lines of like, you can't find an audience and then try to please everybody because you'll, you're, you're never going to please everybody and everybody, there's always going to be people that have a certain opinion of you, but that's not your audience. And the reason I'm talking about this is because of how off topic and how I just literally just sit in front of a camera and talk with people and hang out and share things that I enjoy. Um, like that may not even have to do with technology. Like, dude, you know, I just, so, uh, like I, I made this the other day. Um, and this is kind of what the AI taught me. So you have your audience you solve a problem for your audience, you relate to your audience, then they they return because of these two things. And then you just always have to remember your audience. And this is, this is called the cycle. And what I mean by that, so like my audience is just people that are into PC gaming. And then the problem that I'm solving is I know my PC channel, like most people know how to build a computer. Uh, but the gaming channel, like the, I don't think there's many people that actually understand how to build a gaming computer over there. So me, the problem that I'm solving is one, first of all, the people that are on this channel, maybe you're not running a PC building business and the, the videos that I'm making on these computer builds, like just kind of show you what, what it's, what, what a computer you could build is going to perform like, you know, like with all the computers that I build. And then the, the, the people that buy computers from me, I don't charge, charge people anything for them because I make my income through the affiliate pro from the affiliate links on my YouTube channels. And then the Amazon affiliate program or the Amazon influencer program, also the affiliate programs, um, and the, the brand deals and that kind of stuff. So like, I just, I make my money elsewhere. And then the other problems is just literally look. 
I'll admit it myself, bro. Like I don't have friends. I haven't had friends in a very long time. And when I started, when I started to see, I, I really don't, I, I hate to use this word. And I'm trying to think of a different word so I don't come across as sounding like a douchebag. But when, when you start to see success on with anything you're doing, there's, and I'm not saying that this is bad, dude, all right? But it, it honestly makes it easier to figure out who who's real and who isn't because the, the the people that are not real are people that you cannot relate to. So it's it's much easier to identify who would actually be a friend because friends are friends because you relate to one another. You like things that you like, you know? Um but anyways, the reason I was saying that is because like I it's literally the description. I'm just your online goofy friend hanging out and sharing things that other people might like. It's just the problem that I've like noticed and I've run into is that people pleasing aspect. And it's so it's so it like it's it's to a level where There's things that I do want to do, but I feel like I cannot do them because I would feel disrespectful doing them. I don't know why I was talking about friends. Um, I just kind of feel like that's whatever. That's just what I'm trying to be to people. It's just somebody that can hang out and chat with others. And you can't deny there's no other tech channel like me. You like you can't deny that. There's no other tech channel that does what I do. And I I I'm I do that. Semi intentionally, not necessarily intentionally. Like right now, I'm just kind of like going on, like whatever comes to my mind, I speak. But what I what I mean by this is when when you see people doing all kinds of stuff and going this way, if you want to succeed, you go this way. Or if like AI, as an example, what happens with with people that are trying to get into entrepreneurship and trying to get into businesses is they trend hop and they follow people. But how you actually get wealthy and how you actually start to make money is that like right now with AI, where is that going to be four years in like four years? Now, now that's where you, that's where you focus. You, and it's a risky bet because it, you don't know what's going to be in four years in the future. Um, so, so it's hard to guess that, but that's how people get very wealthy is like, just an, an example, like the two thousands was the internet. Like, so you like, you, you, you'd invest in, in the internet and in some space in the internet, not like, not like invest in the stock, but like, whatever you, you do start a website or something like that. And then from like 2010 to 2020 was a social media boom. So you become an influencer, or some sort of content creator or whatever. You just like get into the digital space and run your business through a YouTube channel. And then now 2020 until I don't even know what's after AI to be honest, but it, this is going to last a very, this is going to seriously change how humanity even is. And it's, if you ask me, like, this is like, I'm actually being serious with it. It's going to sound really stupid to a lot of you, but I, I'm, I genuinely mean this. This is no sarcasm. Like, if you think about how everything has evolved and new species and new races come into the, the dominant thing, like dinosaurs from, from, from dinosaurs to mammals and then humans and next, I think, is going to be AI. I genuinely think that. Like, I don't think that we're going to run into some, like, freaking cyborg takeover war or something. But I do think that AI is going to become the dominant species. It's just kind of... It doesn't make sense why it wouldn't happen. You know, like, live longer than us. It can literally do everything that... It, the only thing at, as of right now that it cannot do is create consciousness. And the reason it can't create consciousness is because we don't even know what it is. <laughs> and, like, with AI, it's, like, they're going to figure that out before us because AI is just smarter than us. And it's, like, you see people complaining about it. And, I, like, I'm not saying that... 
I want that to happen or that I agree with it or that I like all these like fucking stupid AI things that are popping up like 